safi. Karibu tena mtazamaji kwenye kipindi kingine hapa ni Havana Media na kama kawaida kwa majina naitwa Bonfisa Wino na nakumbusha tu ni mara ya kwanza ambayo tunakutana chukua sekunde yako moja mazao kumili uende hapo chini finya subscribe button au like na ushare na kisha mambo itakuwa sawa. Na tunajua kwamba leo ni Jumatatu eh, ni holiday ni siku ya likizo kwa wale ambao wanafanya kazi kwa maofisi. Eh, leo ni siku ya likizo lakini tunajua kwamba sisi kama kawaida lazima tukuambie tuku, tukujulishe ni nini ambayo inaendelea so kwa maana inamaanisha sisi kwetu eh, kuwa na likizo ni sio jambo la maana yani kwetu eh, kuwa na likizo sisi si lazima tuwe na likizo kwa sababu eh, tunafaa tuwajulishe ni nini ya swa ambayo inafanyika sasa kwa wale ambao walisikiza teresia wa elimu jana akizungumza na hili swala niliuliza kuna siku ambayo niliuliza hili swala hapa. E, nakumbuka kuna wakati ambapo pastors karibu pastors wote walikuwa wameenda kule state house maombi. Nikauliza kwamba nafasi ya kanisa. Nafasi ya kanisa haswa kwenye serikali ni gani? Kwa sababu kwa sababu sisi kama wananchi iwapo tunaweza tukajua kwamba nafasi ya kanisa eh, kwenye serikali ni hii basi mambo haitakuwa ngumu. Hatutapata hii mchanganyiko mara imefanyika imetendeka. Hatutapata hiyo mchanganyiko. Sasa so, jana kuna jambo ambalo Teresia wa Elima ilizungumzia. Baada ya kumaliza eh, mahubiri yake, baada ya kumaliza service, acha niseme service kwa Kiingereza, mahubiri yani ibada. Eh, baada ya kumaliza ibada, alichukua karibu 9 minutes akazungumza kuhusu serikali na jiza baba alikuwa anazungumza kuhusu serikali alikuwa anazungumza kwa njia nzuri alisema kwamba kwa wale ambao walisikiza uh, kwa wale ambao wakusikiza pia nataka nitakuwekea hiyo clip wewe usikize peke yako tu eh, mpaka kule mwisho alizungumza kisema akisema kwamba walikuwa natarajia ama walikuwa nadhani ya kwamba hii serikali ilikuwa ya Mungu kumbe basi kumbe haikuwa hivyo na naomba naomba usikize ndio maana ndio ndio baadaye nije tuzungumze kidogo tu kulihusu sikiza hii I'm sure most of us were watching the television we were so embarrassed. Najua wengi wetu walikuwa watazama runingo na tuliaibika sana. Tuliaibika sana. I wish every senator, every member of, of parliament can watch today's message. Laiti kila seneta, kila mbunge angeweza kutazama ujumbe wa siku ya leo. the foundation. Kuhusu misingi. Because all the way way till now i have always been thinking that this government is a government of god kwa maana wakati huo wote nilikuwa nafikiria serikali hii ni serikali ya mungu because is the one we voted for kwa maana ndio tuliyoichagua to our embarrassment lakini kwa aibu yetu is a government of fight ni serikali ya vita I was so concerned. Nilikuwa na hisia sana. And, and, and I know the politicians in this house you get disappointed with me today. Na najua wanasiasa katika nyumba hii mtaweza kuwa badala yetu sisi on the things that concern us the economy of the nation how we can build ourselves how we can do this how we can better have better health systems usika na mambo ya maana kama kujenga uchumi wetu yani you are yourselves without not giving us a notice we are also going to arm ourselves in prayer katika maombi because now we are returning let me just can i say something what are you saying kitu most of us ladies we may wear makeups but one thing we are not good at wengi wetu tunaweza kuvaa vipodozi lakini kuna kitu ambacho siwa tv mr gary knows this when you buy a tv a decoder we have a problem tunayo shida of reading instructions ya kusoma maelezo so those who are of you are married you are ever asking your husband how do you fix it eno ikagirwa there how do you do this wale ambao wameolewa kila wakati tunauliza mabwana zetu yet you have a manual book na pia una kitabu cha maelezo we are not very good in manual books pengine hatujui kusoma vitabu vya maelezo my question is swali langu ni hili the government of the day serikali ya siku we have heard about the foundation tumesikia kuhusu misingi if the foundation of this this nation and this government is god iwapo msingi wa taifa to the manual book mbona usirejee katika kitabu cha maelezo so you can fix what you can fix ili uweze kutengeneza kile ambacho uwezi kutengeneza as a voter i'm embarrassed kama mpiga kura ninaibika sana and the next election you must convince me na katika uchaguzi njao lazima unikatie sababu 
We are sick and tired of having noise. We want performers. We want workers. Don't arm yourself like you are going for war. Arm yourself to serve the nation of Kenya and the people who voted for you. We're going to do another prayer. Come here, Minister Hubbard. Come on, let's arm ourselves. Somebody must go home again. People must start to go home. Home is where we want you in your village. Don't stop anywhere. We are sending most of you home. We did not vote for you to go and make noise for us. We voted for you to become performers. Oh, come on, the church of Jesus. Make a shout. For three minutes, let's wage war for our nation. Begin to pray. Begin to pray for our nation. We refuse noise in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. The poor people are becoming poorer. The economy is getting worse from day to day. Sick people can never get treatment again. Come on, somebody. We cannot watch ourselves going down. Begin to wage war in the name of Jesus. We are returning back to the foundation. This nation, this nation was born through prayer. The government of the day, the government of President William Ruto was birthed through prayer. But today we are in chaos in the name of Jesus. Begin to wage war. This is not what we wanted. This is not what we voted. We did not vote so we can be fighting. Come on, somebody begin to speak. Fight corruption again. Fight corruption in the name of Jesus. Sasa nina swali tena. Wakati huo kati niliuliza nafasi ya se, nafasi ya kanisa kwenye serikali ni gani? Kwa Kiingereza what is the role of church in the government? That is the question that I asked. That what is the role of cha, of church in the government? Sasa sasa hivi tunaona mambo ambayo yanaipuka yanajiza mambo mambo yanalipuka nini nafanyika hapa na pale mambo ambayo yanafanyika na yanafanyika kwa sababu serikali kanisa iliingiana na serikali sana na wakati ujua shida ilitokea tu wakati ambapo William Samoei Ruto alisema kwamba yeye ni mwana yeye ni mtu wa kanisa na akaenda kwa makanisa alitembea kwa makanisa na kawapa fedha ikafika pale ambapo hata kanisa alikuwa na sauti Ilifika pahali ambapo hata kanisa lenyewe alikuwa na sauti alingeweza kupinga chochote ambacho William Ruto alikuwa anasema kwa sababu gani tayari alikuwa shawaingiza mfukuni na alikuwa na wakula moja moja kama njugu Ndio maana ilifika mahali ambapo kanisa hata Ruto alikuwa anafanya nini hakuna kanisa lolote ambalo lilikuwa linaambia Ruto kwamba hapo umefanya vibaya hii haifai kwenda hivi hakuna mtu yote ambaye angeweza kumkosoa William Ruto kwa sababu gani tayari alikuwa shawaingiza box sasa mambo yameanza ya kubadilika. Mambo yameanza ya kuenda sio jinsi ambavyo makanisa yalikuwa yanatarajia yataenda. So ime, imebidi sasa wabadilishe maongeo yao waanze kumwata William Ruto. Wakati walikuwa na sherekea wa kukuli state house wanasherekea, wanasema kwamba hatuwezi tukakubali mganga aje akatuongoze. Aka, 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 aka Mara huyu jamaa huyu William Ruto ndiye anaelewa maslahi ya wananchi. Mara William Ruto atasimama na sisi kama wahubiri, atasimama nasi kama kanisa, walikuwa nafurahia. Sasa nashangaa sasa hivi kwa nini sasa hizi makanisa kwa nini yanabadili yanabadili haswa yale makanisa ambayo yalikuwa na support William Ruto kwa sababu tunajua kwamba sio makanisa yote yalikuwa na support William Ruto so kwa yale makanisa ambayo yalikuwa na support William Ruto wale wahubiri ambao walikuwa naenda kule state house wanakunywa chai wanaombea nchi wanaombea William Ruto wanamwagilia mafuta wanamfanyia sijui nini anapeleka pesa kanisani mwao wanafurahia wanasherekea kwa nini sasa hivi wamebadilisha maneno yao na wanaanza kusema kwamba walidhani serikali hii ni serikali ya Mungu kumbe sio serikali ya Mungu Ilianza tuna wakati ambapo Margaret Wanjiru eh, tunakumbuka kwamba pasta Wanjiru eh, kanisa lake lilikuwa linabomolewa. Akalia 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 akalia. Alikuwa analia na kumbuka tengi ni miezi tatu zilizopita. Sasa sasa hivi imeingia Teresia wa Irimu mwenyewe. Pasta Teresia wa Irimu anamkashifu William Samoe Ruto. Na anasisitiza kusema kwamba mwaka 2027 watu wote wataenda nyumbani. 
Mtazamaji, mimi sijui maoni yako ni gani. Sitaki kuzungumza sana kuhusu hili swala kwa sababu nimelizungumzia kwa muda. Nimelizungumzia kila wakati najiuliza kwamba kani kwani nafasi ya kanisa kwa kwa nini kanisa isifanye tu mambo yake kama kanisa na iache serikali ifanye mambo yake kama serikali na isimame ikosowe serikali pale ambapo wanafaa kukosolewa. Wajua wakati mwingi watu watu mchukia sana pasta ngana. Lakini e, tunakuja tunapata kwamba huyu huyu pasta huyu pasta ngana ana misimamo yake. Huyu pasta anakuwaga na msimamo wake na uwezi ukasikia hata siku moja amesupport ama amesimama na serikali pali popote. Kwa sababu gani? Wakati kanisa limeingia likachanganyika lika likajichanganya na serikali. Yale mambo mabaya ambayo serikali atakuwa yanafanya. Nafasi ya na, kanisa ile itakuwa na nafasi nzuri ya kusimama na kulikosoa. Kweli tuseme. Wakati ambapo William Ruto aliingiana na makanisa mengi William Ruto baadaye akaanza kubadilika, akaanza kufanya mambo yake, akaanza kuleta zile mambo ile mambo na tunakumbuka kwamba lesbianism, hiyo mambo na ma, ma homosexuality, akaanza kuleta, akaanza kufanya yale mambo ambayo yalikuwa yanaweza yakaikuka inchi yetu, yanapeleka njia inchi yetu kwa njia ambayo haifai. Makanisa machache, wahubiri wachache tu ndio alisimama wakakosoa William Ruto. Nao ni wale ambao hawakuchukua kitu kitu kinaitwa hongo. Yaani wahubiri wanapenda wana, wana, wana tumbo lao ku, kuliko jinsi ambavyo wanaweza wakapenda wananchi. Mtazamaji sijui maoni yako ni gani? Hayo ndio ndio mambo ambayo nimeniko nao kwa sasa na ningependa hata nawe nikupe nafasi hapo kwenye comment section na uniambie maoni yako ni gani na ni nini yasua unadhani ilifanya kanisa likaanza eh, kupigana na William Ruto. Na kanisa nafasi ya kanisa ni gani kwenye serikali yetu? ya nchi ya Kenya. Ningependa tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata ikiwezekana. Mimi wako Bonface Owino. Kwaheri.